All right, get ready for some rough and tumble action this weekend. The 19th Puppy Bowl is this Sunday, February 12th on Animal Planet. And this year, two local rescue pups participated. They are Otto and Freya, and they are here with me today, along with Lauren Lehner from Operation Paws uh, for Homes, Operation Paws for Homes, yep. and Quinn Weaver with Canine Rescue. I want to make sure I get those right. Hi, guys. Hello. Hi. Hi, Freya. Hi, Otto. Oh, oh Otto's ready for his close-up. <laughs> yes, he Lauren, is. Lauren, the Puppy Bowl, showing rescue pups, showing rescue organizations, why is it so important that, to have something like this to inform people about these pups and yeah. the, what you guys do? Absolutely. All right, Otto, come, come on. Here, Otto. Camera's over here, sir. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, you know, rescue is so important because, at least for us, without rescue, a lot of our shelter partners, um, they fill up with dogs and cats who are perfectly healthy and adoptable, mm. um, but they don't have anywhere for them to go. A lot of them don't have a lot of local adoptions. And when they get full, they are faced with a really difficult decision of having to euthanize healthy mm. animals for space. Um, and so that's where we come in as rescue. I know it's very exciting. <laughs> um, as rescues, Hi, we're Nada. able to take these healthy adoptable animals and bring them into foster homes and get them adopted. So, oh, and there's so many that deserve such a loving home. And Quinn, you are an active volunteer. So what should people know about rescuing a puppy or fostering a puppy or a dog? Right, it's a large time commitment for sure. Mm -hmm. You need to plan accordingly and plan ahead. Uh, if you have an interest, like interest in a certain breed, I would say research it, figure mm -hmm. out their typical personalities, mm -hmm. make sure they fit your home. Of course, it's gonna be it's going to be different from dog yeah. to dog. Mm -hmm. Is it hard? I always wonder, is it hard to foster? I know like one of our producers, <laughs> Nora, who's producing the show, fostered a dog and then ended up adopting him. But mm -hmm. like, I would think if you're fostering a dog, you just fall in love. But I know that they need foster homes continuous. Exactly. And you know, it's funny. I actually foster failed with one of my dogs too. <laughs> so I understand. Um, but no, it's, um, I think when you realize like, okay, you know, this dog has an opportunity to go to another amazing forever home. And if I adopt them, I won't be able to save another. Mm. So I, I think that's, that. yeah, what, what really keeps us um, able to, to yeah. let the dogs go. You yeah. have Otto, what's Otto's story? He was in the puppy bowl, right? Yeah, he was. Um, he is a very playful puppy. He lives <laughs> on Capitol Hill now um, with an amazing adopter. And um, he actually came from Alabama. It was him and his four siblings, so a litter of five that was spotted in the woods with his mom. Mm. Um, and the puppies, when they were old enough, were able to be um, caught and taken into rescue. But unfortunately, they're still working on, on trapping the mom to get her spayed. But oh, yeah, um, yeah so, so Otto and all of his siblings have been adopted and oh, are living their best, their best lives. How yeah. old is Otto? That's a big boy. Otto is about nine months. He oh is. Oh my goodness. Yes. You are going to be a big boy. And then Freya, is she adopted? Or is she up for adoption? Yes, or? she's actually mine. Oh, mm -hmm. really? You yes, adopted her? I did adopt her. Oh, that's amazing. What has she brought to your life? It's, it's been a very fun experience watching her grow up and train because I delivered her actually. Mm -hmm. I helped deliver her with oh, her. That's her so beautiful. So it's been very rewarding just coming home after school, like yeah. after a hard day, and just having them be so playful and joyful. It's very fun. Oh, it's always so wonderful to have that, that welcome when right. you come home. It's so sweet. And then seeing them in the puppy bowl, how cool is that? Oh, it's, it's so gonna be cool. so fun. Yeah, absolutely. He definitely was very playful, so hopefully he gets <laughs> some screen time, right, Otto? Oh, I can see Otto taking over. I mean, you see some small <laughs> pups in there, and Otto's like, nope, this is my field. Exactly. This is what I got. All right, Lauren, how can people get involved in the y'all's respective organizations? What should we know? So at least for, for OPH, you can go to our website, ophrescue.org, um, and there are applications to adopt, volunteer, you can donate, and there are so many volunteer roles for whatever you're interested in and however much time you're able to dedicate. Okay. So definitely recommend that. And then for Canine Rescue. Yes, but we have an Instagram, Facebook, and then canineRescueInc.com is okay. our website as well. Mm -hmm. And then Canine Rescue is our social media tag. So even if you can't bring the dog home or the cat home, you can still go show them some love and get that puppy love that you want so much. Exactly. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, Thank you, Freya. Absolutely. Thank you, Otto. You're behaving now there, buddy. <laughs> you, you can see it. Otto and Freya on Puppy Bowl 19 this Sunday, February 12th at 2 p.m. on the Animal Planet. And be sure to check out Operation Paws for Homes and Canine Rescue if you are interested in rescuing, fostering, or volunteering.